Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a v-carving in Rhino and RhinoCam. So I have uh, Rhinoceros open here, and um, it's in the, just the default setup. You can see we're in millimeters right now, so the first thing I'm going to do is change this to inches. So I'm going to go to uh, Tools, Options, and click on Units, and go from millimeters to inches. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go and change my grid setting. So I'm going to assume that I'll be making a sign that's no bigger than 12 inches by 12 inches. So I go to Tools, Options, and click on the Grid tab. Okay, first thing I like to change is my minor grid lines, which are these light gray grid lines. So I'll do them every quarter of an inch, 0.25 inches. My major grid lines, which are the dark gray grid, grid lines, I would like to make them every four minor grid lines so that they're at every inch. And if I say that I want my sign to be no bigger than 12 inches, um, I would do 12 times 4 equals 48. Okay, so 12 times uh, four minor grid lines gives me a total of 48 grid lines. I'll set my snap spacing to an eighth of an inch. Just uh, I think that is nice to use if you do use your snap sp spacing. And then hit OK. All right, so I'm going to maximize my top view by clicking on top, pan and zoom. And you can see here, if I look at my coordinates, I'm going to bring my mouse over here. I'm at 12 inches on the y axis over here, 12 inches on the x axis. Okay, so now I have to find an, an image. So I'm just going to type in uh, hammer and I'll add the word silhouette. And this is a this is a good one right here. So if I just go for images, okay, I think this one's pretty nice. So I can click on this. It's a little bit pixelated, but we'll be able to sharpen it up in, in Rhino. I'm going to right click on it, save image as, and I will uh, save this into one of my uh, cam folders. So I'm going to go to cam and signs, and I will do a new folder. I'll call it 2020 hammer sign. And I'll open this up and I'll call this hammer image. Okay, you need to save your images as JPEGs, bitmaps, PNGs, but Rhino cannot read um, GIFs. Okay, all right, so we'll save that. And the other word you can search also, instead of silhouette, you can do stencil. And you'll get some others too that may look good. Okay, I'm happy with the one that I found. All right, so we have to take that image and put it as a place it as a background bitmap in Rhino. So I'm going to do a file, sorry, right click on the top where it says top right here and go to background bitmap place. And I'm going to find my folder. So I will be in uh, cam, signs, 2020 hammer sign. And um, you could turn your grid snap on if you want it. The size doesn't really matter at this point. And I'll just bring it up so that it's pretty much within our 12 inch size constraint. Okay, so this is called a background bitmap. If yours is colored, you can right click on top, go to background bitmap and uncheck grayscale, and you'll be able to see the actual colors of your image. So right now I have just one default layer, it's the black layer. Um, I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna call it hammer curves. So I'm just gonna click right here and rename it. And I'll do it in red so I can see it. Okay, I'll take my grid snap off so when I go to trace this, I'm not snapping to the grid. And I'm going to use a control point curve, and I'll make sure that just my endpoint snap is on. So I'm going to put a check mark here to activate the hammer curves layer, and I will start tracing. Okay, I'm going to do a uh, an endpoint on the head of the hammer just to make it nice and sharp where I feel that there was a sharp 
area in the actual hammer. I'm just right clicking, which lets me repeat the last curve. If you make a mistake like this, you could just click on the word undo and it undoes your last click. Right click, right click. Okay. And I'll go over here. I want to just connect these as so. I want to show you how to trim. So I'll continue on here. Now, if I want to get right on this curve right here, I'm going to do a near snap. Let's me snap right onto it. And I'll start making the handle. Guys, the goal is to not click too often or else your, your curves will be pretty wavy. Um, just do a good balance between accuracy. Okay, almost done. This is usually, honestly, the hardest part is just tracing. And I'll go right up to here. All right, so um, Rhino Cam, to make a V car carving, you need to have closed curves. So what I'm going to do is trim some of this these curves up and then join them. So this is the trim command right here. And it says select cutting object. So which curve is going to act as my cutting object? Um, I'm going to use this curve right here, and then this is going to be used to cut this inside here. So it says select cutting objects, press enter when done, so I will hit enter or right click. And now it says select objects to trim, I'm going to trim this line right here. Okay, and when you're done trimming, it says press enter when done or right click. Okay, now I have um, all these curves here. If I click on object properties and I click on one of them, you can see this is an open curve. This is an open curve, and that means that the ends of it are open. They're, it, 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 it is open here and here. I need to close it by joining it to the other curves. So the puzzle piece tool right here, this is join. You could just click, and I recommend you walk the path, okay, um, and walk all the way around. If it's a simple tracing like this is, I'm just going to hit enter. I could select the whole bunch of curves and then hit join. Okay, um, I'm just going to check how long this video has been. Oh, can't see it there. So I've traced my image. I'm going to right click on top, go to background, bitmap, and hide. Okay, that's it for part one. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to open up RhinoCam and actually make the V carving. So thanks for watching and